Woodside Plaza neighbourhood of Redwood City sits at the base of the hills and is loosely bordered by Woodside Road, Alameda de las Polgas and Maddox. This peaceful neighbourhood is accented by elegant wide curvy streets, many named after states like Virginia, Maryland and Ohio. I've been living in the Woodside Plaza neighborhood for about four years. I love the plaza because there's so many families that live here. There's lots of children, there's lots of people always walking around. I moved into Woodside Plaza about 28 years ago. Uh, it's been an ideal location for me. A couple of my neighbors, the ones that right next to me, have been longtime uh, original owners here. And of course then we've got a few that have moved in recently. So we've got a blending of uh, people in their 80s all the way down to some newborns. So it's a great place with a variety of people. Over time, many of the houses have been remodeled and rebuilt, and these sit comfortably alongside the older, more original style homes from the 50s. There's about five different schools that are walking distance in the neighborhood. Even had some of the grandchildren be able to walk here after school, uh, so I'd get the, to see them every single day. Damn, it's just great to have that great sense of community of people. There's a Maddox Park, which is really popular. Um, it's a very popular park, and all the moms are definitely hanging out there with their kids since it's nicely fenced in. Um, and what's great too about the about the community is its people. I just feel like we have a really great sense of uh, uh, friendship and family community here, and we're all looking out for one another in the neighborhood. So it might be 11, 12 o'clock at night that I would be walking around the neighborhood, and I felt very, very safe, and I've always felt very safe in this neighborhood. There's a lot of neighborhood watch signs, but uh, more particularly than just having designated people who watch in the neighborhood, this community is really great at you know, looking after one another. Uh, there's one neighbor that sometimes forgets to put her trash out because she is so elderly and I help her with that on a regular basis. So what's really great also is the fact that we have the Woodside Plaza stores here that you can walk and get your groceries. Uh, there's a shopping center that has you know your drugstore and grocery store, craft store, uh, lots of eateries including one of the newest restaurants in Redwood City that's getting rave reviews. You know, take a nice long walk to Whole Foods which is also really great. Oh gosh, so trick-or-treating in the Woodside Plaza neighborhood is insanely fun. We probably get about maybe a thousand trick-or-treaters on Halloween. Actually the downtown area um, is probably about five minutes away from the Woodside Plaza neighborhood and there's a lot of great new restaurants and there's actually a museum there and movies and it's just a really great place to, to uh, hang out and, and grow up. There's actually in the summertime in uh, downtown Redwood City, there's a music festival that takes place every Friday afternoon, um, which there's different live bands that play, a lot of cover bands, and um, you could bring the kids and you can bring picnic tables and chairs and just enjoy and, and have some fun and watch a movie afterwards. Uh, everyone watches out for one another, uh, not busybody but if you need something, they're there for you. There's also Stolsaf Park, which is right, right, maybe about three blocks away. And it's a, it's a really great park for um, children and for families on the weekend. And if you're trying to get uh, on 280 or to 101, we're close, uh, probably about a five minutes drive on, on either side to 280 or 101 if you're going to the city or going south. And uh, the weather's always perfect here. So it's just a wonderful place to be able to get around and have all the things that you need and the neighbors are fabulous. Uh, it's just, it's a great place to live.